Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm over here with Dr Anna Woodson from the Dermatology Clinic and today we're talking all about treating pre-cancers with photodynamic therapy. Welcome to the show my Thank friend. Thank you for having me. Okay, nice to see you again. I think this is the right time to be talking about treating pre-cancers, correct? Sure. What is the correct terminology in the medical terminology, I should say, about pre-cancers? So actinic keratoses is the medical term for pre-cancers that lead to things like non-melanoma skin cancers. Okay, so let's break all that down, will we? Where are we seeing all of this? So the most common places to find them are the most sun-exposed parts of the body, the scalp, face, neck, um, extremities, arms, legs, upper body, trunk. What would you be suggesting to all of our friends here in the state of Mississippi where it's been really warm over the summer about treating their skin, making sure prevention? What are you suggesting? So as a dermatologist, of course, you know, sunscreen is the number one and first and foremost recommendation and we look for at least a 30 for the SPF or sun protection, sun protection factor and then also just wearing sun protective clothing, wide brimmed hats, um, long sleeves. Yeah. But yet we still don't do it, do we? I don't, don't know what's no. wrong. <laughs> Why can't we seem to get it we in our learn. heads yes. that put a hat on when you go out in the sun? Sure. All right, how do we treat pre-cancers? So there are several different treatments that we use. Mm -hmm. We prescribe creams, uh, topical medications. Um, we freeze them with liquid nitrogen, oh, really? which is called cryotherapy. And uh, there are some procedures such as the photodynamic therapy, chemical peels. Some people even use lasers. Okay, well, interesting you're saying that. How do we know it's precancerous? And what are we looking for? If someone's watching you right now sure. and they think, oh, maybe I need to go and look in the mirror and then come and call you. What do they need to look for? So precancers are actually one of the most common skin conditions we see in our clinic. And it looks like a rough sort of red scaly bump a lot of times mm. with maybe white or yellow scales. Sometimes it's tender. Um, and it can be as small as a few millimeters up to a large okay. patch. All right, all right. Well, everyone at home, if you feel, go look in the mirror and then give doctor a call. Um, let's talk a little bit about the phototherapy. Yes. What is that? And so in our clinic, we usually employ um, a topical solution that we put on the skin. Mm -hmm. And uh, the patient has to sit in our office for a period of time, depending on what part of the body we're treating. And then we usually use a light source to sort of activate a chemical reaction in their skin. And that treats those precancers. It's sort of, um, it's a phototoxic reaction. So the light that we employ sort of destroys those precancer cells. Explain to people the feeling or the sensation of that, or is there one at all? So sometimes it feels just like a warmth, maybe a little stinging. It can get pretty intense. Sometimes okay. there's some swelling, um, some crusting. Uh, some places might get like sores. I got you. All right, well, we've had it done. Aftercare, I think that's super important. Yes, definitely. Because I would assume you need to be even more vigilant. So first and foremost, be out of the sun for the first 48 hours at least. And then you can use cool packs or cool air or cool water to mist to help cool down the warmth that you're feeling. Um, analgesics, you know, which can be as simple as like ibuprofen. Um, and then obviously follow-up is really important to make sure that you're doing okay. So you come back to see us and make sure that all is okay. Okay, I want to ask you an, a, a question just off the cuff. How often should I be having my skin checked? So, you know, a lot of Does that... Does that make sense? Yes, yeah. a lot of that depends on genetics, so skin type, family history, that sort of thing. I would say the average person maybe once a year, there's not any firm and fast rules, but then if you've right. had pre-cancers or skin cancers, you may want to come as early as every six months or right. even sooner. Really, depending on what you do sure. in activity-wise as well, I would assume. Sure. All right, Doctor, well, we appreciate it. And Thank here's the thing, so prevention is key. Exactly. And yes. don't you agree? Yes. Appreciate you coming in. Always Thank good you. information. If you want to find out more about Dr. Anna Woodson, there it all is up on the screen. Of course, we've been talking all about treating pre-cancers with photodynamic therapy. Back after this short break.